you don't know the thing, don't talk about the thing. Good morning, good afternoon. That's really Mark. Today we're going to talk about um, racism in Zambia and the reason why maybe it's not racism. So this story is about a man that took his son to a barber shop, a Chinese barber shop. So let's hear it. Um, this is this happened in Zambia. And uh, there was this man who took his son to a Chinese barber shop to cut his hair. So when he arrived at the barber shop, they overcharged him, and then he agreed to pay. But later on, he de uh, declined to uh, to pay, so he left. When he left, he went to the like. Uh, police station and he um, whistle blow on the Chinese that they have discriminated against him that they want they don't want to cut his hair the, the, the child hair so the mayor of the city went to the barber shop when he went to the barber shop the barber shop was closed so he just burst into the barber shop and there was they were cutting somebody hair and then he said that uh, the price was in Ch uh, Chinese and everything was not good so they bound the barber shop for discrimination against against black people so th you have heard the story and I'm going to give you three reasons and then I will explain later on so the reason why I think it's not racism is because number one Maybe they don't know how to cut your hair, so they overcharge you. Number two is because maybe because it's your first time coming there, so they will overcharge you. Happens all the time. And three, maybe you think it's overcharged because maybe you're from somewhere else where they charge you less. So when you come some uh, somewhere else, the price is different, and I will explain that too. So let's hit it for the explanation. They don't know how to cut black people hair. They're overcharging because if you, they do something wrong and he wants his money back, then they will give him like a uh, discount. When they give the discount, it means that it doesn't really matter. They will still make some money out of it. They will not go like they have to give money to him. So that is the reason why they overcharge him. And if you think about it, why is the black person living in Zambia going to a Chinese barber shop? Doesn't make any sense. The only reason why he will go there is because he want to cause trouble for them. That's what I think. And do you know that the uh, when the um, assemblyman or the mayor was going to the barber shop, it was closed. And let me tell you something. You would think that I'm making an excuse for these people. I'm pretty sure that this mayor, when he go to a barber shop, when he's going to a barber shop, to close it, because it's important person or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Even if it's if your friend, you would close it and then you tell people that, yeah, we are close. Maybe you have a, like, a break, a person came, so you will cut the hair for him. And that kind of stuff that those things can happen so i think this has nothing to do with like racism i think it's just a scapegoat because they want to close it that is why this man went to the baba shop to cut the hair of the sun that's what happened and maybe it's discrimination maybe it's not but at the end of the day why will a zambia man with a child go to the chinese baba shop you have to let it sink into your head that this is just nonsense. So number two is that they overcharging you. If if you're not a customer that come there often, when you go there, they will overcharge you. They don't know that maybe you come again. Maybe you're just passing by. So they will overcharge you. And so that has happened. So right, so I'm living in like Utrecht. Utrecht, it's, uh, yeah, it's outside where a lot of Ghanaians lives. I think you have barber shop, but most time I go to Amsterdam, Belma. That's where, where a lot of uh, black people live in like Netherlands. So I go there, I cut my hair. And sometimes when I go to there and cut my hair, they overcharge me because I don't live there. I, 
I go there maybe one time, like two months, three months, four months, and I don't go to one place. I always go to different different places. So you know, if you go to different different places, they overcharge you. If you you have to go to one place, and sometimes they will give you a card. So if you want to catch your hair, so then you have like a special person that catch your hair. So when they give you the card, you call the person say, "I'm coming to cut my hair." And then, like last time, I think the last time I went, I went there to cut my hair. So when I went there, there was these people, they were waiting like, I think two hours. But when I went inside and I sat down, the guys told me to come and cut my hair. So that is like cutting line, eh? I will cut line because the guy knows that he can uh, make more money from me than those two people that's like that is what you're going to get so he called me and then he cut my hair and they charged me and i gave him the money i'm not they can see you when you come in that you're not like them eh? um like most time when you go and you want to cut uh the, they want to cut your hair they finish they will tell me all the price and the person will say oh no 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 i don't have money right now can you give me like can you give me like a uh, discount blah 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 that kind of stuff you have but when they see you come in they see that you're not from Amsterdam Belma you're just different person you are a black person but you're different they tell you come they'll catch your hair and they charge you more because they know that maybe you're just passing by so that is uh, number two and number three it can be like that this is the original price and this is the original price is this when you go to like Amsterdam Belma uh they will charge you if you like uh, uh if you come there often it's maybe five euro six euro it doesn't matter but if you're just passing through it's ten euro okay in amsterdam belma but when it come to where i live it's like 25 euro so just think about it so let's say somebody's from belma he cut his hair he cut his hair for like 10 euro he'd always go there cut his hair and then maybe the person would charge him less so that person will come to uh the place where i live he want to cut his hair he came into the salon they tell him it's 25 euro what the, the first thing he would think like this is overcharging him but they are not overcharging him that's the original price you understand so i think that is what is going on the person's i don't know where the person is from so the person always go to a black barber shop. Then he decided to go to a Chinese barber shop. Now he went in. He saw the price and he thought, "What the hell? Why is so expensive?" But normally when I go and cut my hair, it's cheaper. So right now he's thinking that overcharging him, but it's not overcharging because it's a normal price. And you have to understand that the Chinese people, their money is different than the uh, Zambian people. So for them maybe it's cheaper and but for somebody in Zambia it's expensive you understand for them it's cheap for you it's expensive so the, if you understand the double side of everything you understand maybe it has nothing to do with racism it has nothing to do with oversized uh, overcharging and it has nothing to do with because he's black you understand so if you can understand both sides i think a lot of uh, black people and all the kind of stuff we don't understand the both sides if you understand the both sides you want you see that they're not overcharging you it's just business I i'm pretty sure that when i go to ghana and i want to buy something like at the market and somebody will say it's five ghana cities you know maybe 10 ghana cities 20 ghana cities for me it's cheap so i'll buy it you understand for me it's cheap so i was uh, uh, five ghana cities it's nothing so i'll buy it but for ghanaian who are living in ghana would think that this one is just overpriced you understand or maybe they can make sure that the, uh, the price go down but for me it's still uh, cheaper it doesn't really matter so that is how when you go to africa when you go on holidays they tell you that when the price is high you have to uh, make sure that the price go down so in a sense it doesn't really matter for you it's still cheap so you will not 
uh, even I, I may remember last time I, I went to buy something and because I don't I don't want the coins the, the person gave me like uh, he, he, he changed the money for me and I told her to have the coins and the person was like what the fuck you know like don't you want the money said, no no you can take it because I don't know that the, the money that I'm giving him is too much but for me it's cheap you understand so I think for the Chinese people the money that they have to pay in the Baba shop is too cheap that for them it's not overpricing but for the guy it's overpricing I hope that this explanation explain it more I know that a lot of people this has happened to them even if you're black in a black country this has happened to you before it's always like that and if you agree with me you can always uh, comment if you are disagreeing with me you can also comment so I hope that people understand that maybe this has nothing to do with uh, racism and maybe if you think about it maybe it has something to do with that that person wanted that shop maybe is that too you just have to think about what is going on and you have to look outside the box maybe it's just because the person wants that shop and the only way to get the shop is to blame them so i hope this explanation help you to understand more if you disagree you can always post a message and we will talk a bit more so i hope you like it see you later Doei.